Well, move over peanuts. Sesame will also have to be identified on labels after President Biden signed a new allergy law. It's a hidden ingredient in many foods that can trigger a dangerous allergic reaction. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl says it is a law that one Westchester family has been fighting for. Hi, Stephanie. That's right, Jessica. Sesame will be the ninth food added to the list of items that have to be identified on labels, and it cannot come soon enough for the 1.6 million people who are allergic to sesame. I like cupcakes and cake. Talking about her favorite foods, six-year-old Cameron Ford knows she has to be careful about what she eats, being allergic to sesame. It's high anxiety. It's a little stressful. Cameron's mom, Susan, says she has to be a food detective because sesame isn't always identified on labels. It can be under natural flavors or under spices. So over the time, we've had to really be aware and contact manufacturers and make sure that everything is safe for her to eat. Cameron had a reaction similar to this, breaking out in hives. Serious reactions can be dangerous, requiring a shot of epinephrine. And sesame is now the ninth most common food allergy, impacting a growing number of people. There are certain foods that seem to stimulate the immune system. Often a hidden ingredient, sesame seeds, oils, and paste can be found in everything from bagels to hummus and condiments. But only the top eight allergens, including milk, eggs, and peanuts, are required on food labels. Right now, the law does not mandate sesame. It is an extremely difficult food for people to avoid. But that will be changing now that President Biden signed the FASTER Act. FASTER stands for Food Allergy Safety Treatment Education and Research. It mandates improved labeling so foods containing sesame will have to be clearly identified by 2023. Hopefully we'll see people make those changes sooner as awareness of the difficulty of avoiding sesame me is recognized. It's a law the Ford family from Westchester advocated for. I'm so excited. We need this. We need this more than anything. A voice for the people with allergies of sesame that, you know, they don't have as much as a voice. So it's making everybody lives a lot easier and <laughs> a lot happier. And that new labeling has to be in place January 1st, 2023. But until then, families like the Fords will have to continue to be their own detectives. Mm -hmm. Yuki. Okay, Stephanie, thank you.